The Mac Attack here, and welcome to a brand new trailer reaction. So a few hours ago, Disney has launched the next trailer for the next animated Star Wars miniseries. Set by the same animation style and the creator of the Clone Wars, Dave Filoni. Now this is going to be another Star Wars thing that is fully created by none other than Dave Filoni himself. And as much as I absolutely despise the shit out of Star Wars done by Disney right now, I, the ones that has been mainly done by Dave Filoni, I've been loving a lot more than all the Disney Star Wars garbage that we have constantly been getting. Like, The Mandalorian Season 1 and 2 were ap actually very good. Season 3 was absolutely just atrocious. Unfortunately, it was a massive downgrade from the first two seasons. Then uh, Andor, I thought had some good moments, but it didn't really entice, entice me that much to enjoy it. But I do say it was a little more better than the sequel trilogies and... I'm curious to see how season two for that goes out. And, uh, the final season of The Clone Wars was absolutely phenomenal. The Bad Batch seasons one and two were absolutely phenomenal. And so far, I like the final season. I'm liking where it's going. Tales of the Jedi was good. And now, we got Tales of the Empire. Now, uh, again, like I said, and even though if some of the new Dave Filoni Star Wars stuff has some flaws and problems, I still will say they're a lot more better than the other Disney Star Wars crap we're getting, like the Acolyte. Yeah, I'm not happy. I'm not excited for that one. There's a. Uh, it just does not look good. It looks like it will ultimately just decanonize the Phantom Menace or at least retcon it in the dumbest way possible. So I'm not happy with the Acolyte. I'm not excited for it and I'm not even going to watch it when it comes out. But. Another good Star Wars project done by the GOAT, Dave Filoni. Let's check out the trailer for Tales of the Empire, shall we? Why do you seek Imperial favor? Years ago, my people were all but destroyed. My anger gives me strength. It is that strength I offer the Empire. Offer accepted. I'm here to present you with an opportunity, Paris. Just be glad you're not a Jedi anymore. Your path is set, Morgan Elspeth. I will fulfill my destiny. Mercy only breeds defeat. But I will help you overcome this weakness. Attack! You said the Empire would help to change things. Everything comes at a cost. world has been burning since I was a child. You cannot stop what has begun. Now you must face one final test to join us. It is time you meet your new master. Live 
the Empire. You know, I am excited for this. This looks good. This, once again, looks like another properly well done Star Wars project by Dave Filoni. I will always like anything that Dave Filoni does because he will always respect everything in George Lucas's honor and we already know that George Lucas has pretty much made it very clear that any hope to save Star Wars is pretty much gone because he backed Bob Iger up oh well that's really what you could have expect even though I did that petition many years ago to get George Lucas or Dave Filoni to take full control of Disney Star Wars. We know that Dave Filoni has somewhat of a more creative control role with Star Wars now, but with George Lucas, that was absolutely obvious that probably he would never come back. Now we know the answer. But, um, this looks cool. This looks cool. I'm very hyped for it. Star Wars Tale of the Empire coming May 4th on Disney Plus by the man, the myth, the legend, Dave Filoni. What do you guys think about Tales of the Empire? Are you watching it on the day it comes out or are you going to ignore it? Because again, Disney Star Wars is majorly atrocious. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe down below for more videos in the future of this channel. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next reaction video. The Mac Attack, signing out. Have a good one.